What up, y'all? Bansky living a dream TV. Just want to point out how NASA is connected to that last Obama town hall meeting. I remember seeing astronaut Scott Kelly for the first time on this Martian question and answer video, but they're talking about space. I read a lot of comments saying that these people look like they're hanging upside down with the blood rushing toward their head and CGI being used. So this is Scott Kelly and this is Mark Kelly, they're twins. This is the dude that was in that Martian question and answer video. And this guy, I recognized him, or I thought he was actually Scott when I saw him in the Obama town hall conference video. And then when I went back and watched it, I realized that it was uh, his twin brother. I want to bring in uh, Mark Kelly, as you know, former astronaut, husband of former Congressman Gabrielle Giffords, who we're proud to, uh, to say is here tonight. Five years ago this week in Tucson, Arizona, Congresswoman Giffords was shot. Six others were killed. Captain, thank your you question? Well, thank you for being here. Here's his twin brother on the cover of Time. But back to this conference meeting with Obama hosted by this Cooper guy. Cooper making that triangle hand sign. Burr making the triangle hand sign. Pope John Paul II making triangle hand sign. Eminem making the same hand sign. Bill Hicks making triangle hand sign. So I think it's very intentional in this one hour, 13 minute and three second video that CNN released on the American Town Hall on gun control. 1133, right there. But back to this, they place them right here toward the end. Very intentional by design. He asked this question about tyrannical government and Obama responds in pretty much discrediting people who believe in anything, any sort of thought related to a conspiracy of government takeover, taking away Second Amendment rights. Let's take a look. But when we testified in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee, we heard not only from the gun lobby, but from United States Senators that expanding background checks will, not may, will lead to a registry, which will lead to confiscation, which will lead to a tyrannical government. So this whole conversation was orchestrated and very detailed and meticulously planned as far as timing, topics, emotional cues, um, responses, questions being asked. Anderson Cooper right here interjects and asks, is it fair to call it a conspiracy? And it's intentional to cause this this fake little you know difference in opinion, and it 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 makes it frames Obama into looking like he's the one that's thinking logically. Let's take a look. Suspicious of some distant authority. But let me just jump. Is it fair to call it a conspiracy? I mean, well, yeah. A lot of people really believe this deeply that they just don't. No, no. They just don't yeah. trust you. I'm, I'm sorry, Cooper. Yes, it is fair to call it a conspiracy. What, what, what are you saying? Are, are, the, uh, I, are you suggesting that the notion that uh, we are creating a plot to take everybody's guns away so that we can impose martial but, law but there's certainly a is lot a conspiracy? People. Yes, there's... that is a conspiracy. I would hope that you would agree with that. Is that controversial? <laughs> Except no, on but, some but websites there are certainly, around the country? There are certainly a lot of people who just have a fundamental distrust that you do not want to get f go further and further and further down this road. Look, I, I, I mean, I, I'm only going to be here for another year. I, 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 I don't know. What, when, when would I have started on this uh, enterprise, right? So this is just an insult to intelligent people and really everyone because obviously he can pass legislation he's already been in progress changing you know with Obamacare and all kinds of different laws that were stuffed in that bill uh, just recently you know this this whole meeting came right after he had his his crying performance crisis actor Barack Obama right here rubs a little something in his eye and tears out of his left eye out of the left side not out of the regular tear ducts. Rub something in his eye right there. 
Every time I think about those kids, it gets me mad. And by the way, it happens on the streets of Chicago every day. You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. I can leave you one number, do a bunch of numbers at you very quickly, leave you one number, 16,000. And that in my first six years as Secretary of Education, that's the number of young people who are killed across our country, 16,000. It's an average of seven a day. It does not capture the heartache and grief and anger that we should feel. And she was in a hospital bed fighting for her life. I know there's not a parent in America who doesn't feel the same overwhelming grief that I do. Beautiful little kids between the ages of 5 and 10 years old. They have their entire lives ahead of them. Birthdays, graduations, weddings, recommendations that are well within uh, my legal authority. I am very proud of President Obama announcement today to try to have some sensible gun safety measures. In fact, I feel really good because I called for some of those measures a couple of months ago. Australia had a huge mass killing about 25, 20, 25 years ago. And in reaction, they passed much stricter uh, gun laws. In 1996, they had an awful shooting, a massacre. A couple weeks after that, Australia radically changed their gun laws. Think of the gift that that country has given to their children versus what we have done here in the United States. We know that other countries, in response to one mass shooting, have been able to craft laws. Great Britain, Australia. Like the president, I feel there's just been no greater frustration, no greater disappointment. Somehow, this has become routine. We've become numb to this. Gun violence, you know, to die, mass shooting, what does that do to their decision-making process? On the other side, we're absolutists and think that any gun safety measures are somehow an assault on freedom or communistic, or a plot by me to you know, take over and stay in power forever or something. I'm also confident that uh, the recommendations that are being made by uh, my team here are ones that uh, are entirely consistent with the Second Amendment. There are all kinds of crackpot conspiracy theories that float around there. It's a time of crisis. It's a time of crisis. It's a time of huge pain. It's a time of fear. From that pain, from that fear now, can that spur action? And so, can a crisis become an opportunity? And that's why I'm actually hopeful. I think it can. That's all I'm going to show this video. This is from Truthstream Media. It's a great channel. Go check it out. I'll leave a link. So they use the NASA actors, the promoting the Martian video, you know, question and answer, promoting the whole space agenda actors. They use the, the twin brother to trigger the question that led to this staged debate on conspiracy actors. Right here, Anderson Cooper acting. Here he chuckles. Obama states that he's only going to be here another year. Just keep in mind, he says he's only going to be here another year. Conspiracy? Yes, that is a conspiracy. I would hope that you would agree with that. Is that controversial? <laughs> Except on no, some websites are certainly around the country? There are certainly a lot of people who just have a fundamental distrust that you do not want to get f go further and further and further down this well, road. Look, I, 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 I mean... I, I'm only going to be here for another year. I, 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 I don't know. What, when, when would I have started on this uh, enterprise? The comment reminded me of this supposed slip-up of Obama telling former Russian leader Medvedev that he'll have more flexibility after the election. And this AP archive channel reports that they had no knowledge and no intention of making it public and uh, what he says pretty much <clears throat> makes you wonder and implies that he has plans that uh, extend further than his presidency. Let's take a look.
He says he'll transmit this message to his successor, Vladimir Putin. I don't know. I think this might be staged. But again, this is evidence that they're controlling and manipulating the narrative, at least the, what the general public views. CBS Interactive, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. You really have some balls, Scott Kelly, pretending to be on the ISS. Just like your brother, Mark, pushing gun control with his sellout wife, Gabby Giffords. Bunch of frauds, puppets, and deceivers. We are ready, sir. We hear you. I guess lighting and selling outruns in the family. Uh, Commander, you are studying how weightlessness affects vision. I find that really fascinating. What have you learned? Well, there are some uh, some negative effects of living in this microgravity environment. You know, due to the, due to the microgravity, also uh, you know effects due to the radiation, and there's you know effects on our immune system, um, bone loss, muscle loss, things like that. And one of them one of them is uh, is vision. And if you don't know about the NASA Nazi connection, or just Nazis in general in America, you're gonna want to look into Project Paperclip, Werner von Braun. Because I didn't go to go into detail on NASA Nazi connections, but they are there. It's pretty much just trust NASA as far as you can throw a Nazi. Till then, next time, this is Bansky, Living a Dream TV. I'm out.